Hello, Kemi Hint. Welcome back to another video. I wanted to fill out this Jump Force survey with you guys so you guys have an idea of what I think about the game. And uh, this survey specifically was on the Bandai UK and Bandai Europe Twitter. They always provide the survey links, but Bandai Namco US rarely does it. I don't know why that is. Every survey that I filled has been from the UK or EU. So it, it, it's weird. I mean, because I mean, you have like options for your country and whatnot. So I don't understand why Bandai US can't just like lob the the link. Let me put the mic a little closer. So we're gonna fill it out. So that way you guys can see what I think about the game while I'm giving my feedback directly to Bandai in a way, right? Have you played Jump Force? Of course I have. Why wouldn't I? Uh, now, you know what? Thank you for the, taking the time to complete the survey. Let's talk about your overall experience. With jump force all right that sounds amazing overall are you satisfied with the game you know what i'll give you a six right i'll give you a six because i like the game the game's fun and you know what you know what a five yeah no 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 yeah you can you can get a four you can get a four see like I i'm just thinking about shit that pisses me off and i'm like give like giving it less stars but a four is fine for you okay i think that's disturbing now what were your favorite features Okay, so local multiplayer mode, I don't touch. Online ranked, I do touch. Online friendly, online quick match, training mode, character creation tool. <sighs> okay, character creation tool, uh, graphics, original soundtrack. Okay, so let me say this, okay? I'm going to just say gameplay, character roster, the online lobby, which is the hub where this trash. I'll put online quick match, online ranked match online friendly match okay those are my top five and these are basic things and this is what i have to pick from the most basic stuff now which features were disappointing okay so if you want to talk about disappointing story mode online lobby music uh the creation tool i'm not gonna give them too much crap about it because the character creation tool itself which is you making your own cac and customizing the looks that's kind of cool all right. Well, the moves are the problem. Okay, in my personal opinion, obviously them putting them in rank didn't help either. But it is what it is. Now, those were select a maximum of five. I don't have to select five, so I'll just go with that. Now, considering the character balance in this Jump Force installment, please indicate how feel about it. Okay, I mean the grammar's kind of nice there. Well, then again, I have no room to talk since I'm trash. But anyways, uh, extremely unbalanced, quite unbalanced. I'll just quit quite unbalanced the only reason why i don't give it stream or extremely unbalanced is because i've seen games where one move can mean life or death for you meaning if you get hit one, by one move you lost the whole match so at the very least i haven't seen that in jump force but it's very unbalanced i will say that it's, it's very unbalanced now please indicate the characters you feel are too strong um very gladly very gladly i'll do that so if we want to talk about what characters are too strong we're going to go with Piccolo as a support. Of course, they're not asking for specific context or nuance to what you mean when you pick a character, which is kind of a shame because I don't want to see Piccolo get nerfed in the wrong ways. I want to see him get nerfed as a support. I want to see him get nerfed with the special beam cannon. I want to get him, I want to, I want to get him nerfed in that sense. I don't want his damage to go down or for them to make him weaker. Just in general, the special beam cannon is the problem, okay? So now the other character that I think is a problem would be uh, Ruki as a support. Soto definitely is a, is a problem because he has too much damage. Togoro has too much damage. Vegeta is a problem as a support. Uh, you know, his special beam can't... No, no, his special beam can't. But the Bali attack, whatever, I don't know what the, what the name of it is. But basically, his support ability uh, is a big problem in this game simply because there's no real way to, like, avoid it, avoid it. You know what I mean? Like... Which, even with Piccolo, you can just sidestep it if you're at the right angle, which is the pro the reason why I'm kind of like torn between like unchecking him and checking him is because Piccolo's special beam cannon ain't a big deal if you sidestep it. But what happens in this game is that sometimes the support will actually pop out from your side. So sidestepping it isn't really something you can do, right? And if you happen to backstep instead of sidestep, the character would just track you down and then do the move anyway and hit you. So I feel like it's a problem in that sense. Now, obviously, uh, we're going to go with uh, Ichigo 
and just to give new ones here it's not the damage it's not anything like that i think that sword slash he has is kind of dumb uh there's not a lot of time to react to it there is a punish like that you can do right if you do manage to avoid it in time by some miracle or your psychic uh you actually can punish it so i will i will give him credit for that obviously real saiba is is very strong in my opinion I would put Sabo simply because you can connect just about every super he has together into like a string. And it's kind of like annoying, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go with like sensible choices simply because I don't want it to be uh, about my, uh, you know, I don't want to be, what's the word I'm looking for here? I don't want to be biased. I want to actually give honest answers, things that I truly do believe would make the game better if they got nerfed. Okay. So then uh, if we're going to talk about two catches that are too strong, uh, Shishio has to be on top because he has way too much of a damage output and I mean way too much So I, I definitely will put him there Sasuke. I know this is a problem too um, Because uh, he's heavy He has like a heavy attack right where you charge it up and it's like a sword slash and even if you if you uh, Sidestep it at the right time. It'll still hit you sometimes uh, The other thing is the Amaterasu. I mentioned this in one of my last videos if you hit Sasuke and interrupt him from his super the super will still come after you, you know, and uh, I, like a lot of these other characters don't have that. And I mean, literally every other character, like if you interrupt them, their super doesn't just magically come out. So Sasuke is one of those anomalies that I need to put in here. Now, Yusuke, I don't think uh, anything bad about Yusuke. Um, let me see. Sanji, no. Say yeah, no. Kenshiro. Kenshiro doesn't have a lot of damage. Um, and his moves aren't really overpowered. You know what I mean? Like... Everything he has is close range. You can't really cheese with his moves. That's what I'm thinking about. Can you cheese with his moves? Now, Killua, I'm going to just say yes because I hate Killua so much. And I'm not trying to make it biased, but his moves are a big problem in Jump Force. And uh, specifically the counter move and the Lightning Palm, I feel like they need to get nerfed um, just simply because they're just problematic. I think they're too strong. Uh, so, like I, like I said, I just want to give new ones here, okay? I want to give a lot of new ones just to... Make it fair. Now, Goku as support is annoying. The Kamehameha stuff. Um, you can basically just do too much in this game with it. And uh, I think that's about it. You know, honestly, I think that's about it. Actually, Aizen. Let's put Aizen in there. I know the wall can be broken with certain characters. I know that he, the Black Coffin, he doesn't really have a chance to use it that much. Or if at all. If you're fighting against someone that has half a brain cell. But just the idea that he can like teleport and stuff in between his combo and his hitbox actually disappears alongside him it's it's just too much in my opinion um kenshin does a lot of damage but i, I don't think he's broken i think his uh sword slash move is broken in my opinion though you know what fuck it and kakashi is broken to a support because he has the kamui shuriken broken stuff um let me see hisoka can i put hisoka in there sure let's put hisoka in there just because you can do a lot with his stuff too. Uh, but yeah, let's move on. Let's, let's move on. And mind you, I, as I said before, I want to just make sure that they understand that I don't want the characters to be nerfed entirely. Just specific things about them. Okay? Now, catches that are too weak. This is going to be so easy, by the way. Uh, Gara, Boruto, um, Shiryu. Easy, bro. Easy. Now, Kurapika, easy, my guy, easy. Now, uh, da -da 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 -da. let me see who else, who else. Uh, Yugi doesn't, Yugi doesn't need more damage, my guy. He's, he's, uh, he's retarded. But the, the one thing with him is that he's balanced in a way because his normal attacks are trash. He doesn't really have a normal game. Now, I don't see die often, but people have called him overpowered for some reason. So it, it is what it is. I'm not gonna pick him because I personally don't think that he is. Uh, Kenshiro is not too weak. Renji is not too weak. Uh, I think Frieza and Cell, though. I think Frieza and Cell are weak. I haven't seen them at all on ranked. Okay, at all. I'm ta I'm telling you, like, if I see them, it's against a dude that just doesn't know about them. Okay, that doesn't know about how trash they are. So I would say Frieza and Cell for sure. Now, in terms of weak, mm, too weak, too weak. Can I put Sanji because of the female thing? Yeah, you know, they probably won't give a fuck about that. Uh, okay, Isuku Midoriya for sure, man. That dude needs a, a, a buff. 
like it's a plague my guy he needs that right away so please indicate which please look at the series you're preferring jump force okay so they have one option i think okay it is one option okay so they have one option and to be honest with you if i this this one series i prefer in terms in in terms of jump force it would be jojo so i'm gonna go with jojo's simply because those are the characters that i actually really really love okay uh now please in the if you own a copy of the game yes i do own a copy of the game now i'm gonna make this quick guys um duh, duh, duh. what were the three most important factors that drove you to buy or ask for jump force okay i think it's funny they mentioned asking for it because they probably thinking about hey kids asking their parents or something but i did ask for it to i asked bandai for a code and they gave it to me so when i tried the game myself during an event online advertising and then when i tried the game myself during open slash closed beta now how did you get jump force i would say it was a gift technically right it was a gift but i'm pretty sure they're gonna ask me about why did i pre-ordered it so i'll just say i pre-ordered it just so i can you know yeah because the thing is i did the my hero survey and they were asking the same the same exact questions so i kind of have an idea of what they're gonna ask me at all times but um my what was your most important reason for pre-ordering it now it wasn't to secure the collector's edition because that was trash i didn't want the avatar costumes i didn't want the lobby vehicle I wanted to support the brand, that's true, but that's not the only reason, okay? So, I'm going to just say my store was offering a gift because yeah, I, I want them to understand that I like incentives. Did you purchase the collector's edition? Um, I don't know. Did your mama give birth to a dumb boy? I mean, maybe. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. I mean, I didn't. No, I didn't buy it. Too expensive. Um, why didn't you buy the collector's edition? <laughs> the price was too expensive. And, like, it's not that I couldn't afford it, bro. It's just, like... And I'm talking directly to Bandai, by the way. It's not that I couldn't afford it. It's just that I don't see myself buying a game for that price. I'm sorry. You could be offering me, like, Kim Kardashian on a silver platter with it, dude. I'm not gonna take it. It's just that simple. 300 is too much, man. Now, did you buy the character pass? Um, uh, Not really. I haven't bought it yet, because... I need to buy it when I get paid, and I haven't bought it. So, why didn't you buy it? I'm waiting for more information about characters. You know what? Let's just go with that. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Now, please indicate the games you play. I played all of these games. I played all of these games. They didn't play these two, though. So, all right. Did the subtitles in your native language possibly influence your decision to purchase the game? No. Um, am I satisfied with the subtitles? Yes. Portrayal of character personality, yes. Grammar, yes. Even though I don't care about any of this. I'll just say yes because I'm indifferent. Either way, I don't care. Now, if another Jump Force game was to be... Re hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Let me put my headset down. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see if I'm reading this right. If another Jump Force game was to be released... Listen, bitch. Listen, you better not be thinking about releasing another jump force game when we're talking about jump force one okay we better not be in talks about jump force two i understand that jump force did very well in sales okay from what i've seen in the numbers the game sold very very well so a sequel is not like oof this difficult thing to like really uh, think about but i can see them doing one down the line in like two or three years i i do i do now here's the issue though Let's fix this current Jump Force, please, okay? Because this game is, what, two months old? Not even. So let's worry about this game, okay? Let's not worry about another game. But let's read the, re the rest. Would you be interested in English voiceover? Okay. All right. Yes, I would. Not because I care, but because I know other people care. I'm a very, um, I'm a very supportive guy, you see. Now, which platform have you played Jump Force on? PS4. Haven't played it on PC. Which of the following platforms do you own and play video games on? Uh, PS4, PC, and smartphone, I guess, if that counts, okay? I guess it does, because they're asking me. Now, they're asking me, how old are you? I'm 24, about to be, about to be 25 next year. Uh, that's a next year, stupid. Next month, uh, you know, thank you very much for asking me about my age and my current time that I have left on this planet, probably. What is your current professional activity? See, listen, you don't have YouTuber here, okay? And I'm, I'm fine with it, okay? 
and I could put other profession, but I don't see YouTube as a job. You know, I, I never see YouTube as a job. And that's not me trying to be modest or anything. I just do it because I enjoy it. Okay, so I'm going to just say unemployed. Let's just say I'm a bum in the streets just because. Now, they're asking me for comments as to concerning the game experience. I'm actually going to write out the top bots and then come back and read it to you guys. Okay. All right. All right. So this is what I wrote so far. Uh, I think this, this is basically the end of it. Um, but basically the game has a lot of issues with balancing. Not only does the same few characters dominate the online atmosphere, but certain moves from the same characters are plaguing the online with its issues. Now I put here, uh, add a replay button. I put here cause I made it a list. So that was a lot easier to read and it doesn't get like jumbled up with like the other sentences. So I put uh, add a replay button, add more time to the timer in online matches, nerf support character cooldown so it cannot be spammed as much. As you guys know, right now supports can be called every like two or three seconds, which is crazy. Uh, reduce how much awakening meter players get when getting damaged. And this one has more to do, this one right here, has more to do with, yes, uh, not yesterday, but the day before. So on my latest video, the one called uh, Revealing My Trump Card, in the last match of that video, I won it, but I won it because I got so many opportunities to awaken and do my ultimate that it ended up being like the big thing that allowed me to win, okay? And I, I did it throughout that whole entire match. I think I did six or seven ultimates. I It could be less from, like, I, I really don't know, but it's somewhere around that ballpark. Like, I was getting my ass beat. And I was getting rewarded for it, you know, with ultimates and awakenings. And I was able to do more damage because of that. So I think that if they reduce it, like, it'll kind of just reduce the amount people can do it per match. Um, this is just a personal thing. You know, I don't want to actually have people win because of stuff like that, where they're getting their ass beat so bad that they're getting so many awakenings and getting a chance to do a lot of damage. And in this game, when you awaken, ultimates do a decent amount of damage. We're talking about... Anywhere from 40 to even like 45% maybe. Uh, and usually people don't just throw it out. They'll do a little combo or they'll do a super into it. And, 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 and like that's where the big issue comes from. It's just you can do a lot of damage with just one ultimate. So giving you that many ultimate by getting your ass beat just doesn't seem fair to me. And that's just how it is. Now prevent guard breaks uh, is right here. Prevent guard breaks while guarding a support projectiles from happening. It's currently an issue, okay? Certain heavy attacks track even when sidestepping out of the even when sidestepping out of the way. This is a big issue for me, okay? I know that some of you guys might not think about it or, or you might not see it as an issue, but this is just my personal experience. So because I'm the one feeling the survey, I'm gonna give out my opinions on it. And I try to be as unbiased as I can. Obviously, some of it you can't really be unbiased simply because they're asking you for your personal opinions. They're asking you for your personal experience. So in a way, you kind of do have to be biased in certain points. But obviously, I did try to be as fair as possible when it came to my criticisms. So uh, some of you guys might not think about it that way, but that's fine. It is what it is. And then for the last one, I said, introduce other series into the roster. Him and Reborn, Medaka and Gintama as my personal preferences. In reality, I just threw it in there just to throw it in there just because I was like, hey, listen, if they actually read this, I want them to know that, you know, I want these characters just like everybody else. All right. That's just basically it. Uh, with that, I'm going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you didn't, that's fine, too. I know some of you guys are going to disagree with me and uh, we're going to probably throw a fit because of the selections I made for characters that are too overpowered or whatnot. But that's fine. Anyways, I'm out, guys. Peace.